In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, Tarbiya Namudija School, Grade 3, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Teacher Ashraf. Welcome to a new lesson. It's Lesson 10, Unit 7, in which you're going to revise some language from the unit and also to give you some kind of chance for self-assessment. So, go to your pupil's book on page 81, Activity 23. All you have to do is to listen carefully and tick A or B in each number. So, in each number, number one, we have A and B. Number two, we have also A and B, and so on. So, you listen carefully and tick the correct picture. Right? Let's get started. Three, page 81. Listen and tick. One, learn to cook. So... Number one, learn to cook. You have to choose. You have to decide. Is it A or B? Learn to cook. Two, have swimming lessons. Two, have swimming lessons. Is it A or B? And go on like this. Three, practice basketball. Four, study maths. Five, learn to draw. Six, study English. So, after listening, I think all of you gave correct answers. Yeah, that's right. So, number one, is it learn to cook or learn to draw? Number two, have swimming lessons or do karate. Number three, practice playing football or practice basketball. Number four, is it have swimming lessons or study math? Number five, is it about playing football or about drawing, learning to draw? Number six, is it about basketball or studying English? Huh? Check your understanding, check your listening, and at the end, I'm going to show you the answers. Right? So, let's move down to the next activity, 24. We have three upper pictures and three lower ones. In the first three pictures, I mean the upper pictures, we are going to ask about when. We are going to ask about when the incidents happen, you know. So the first one. When does he study math? Number two. When does he do gymnastics? Number three. When does he have swimming lessons? And the answers, I think, crystal clear here. He studies math on Thursday. He does gymnastics on Friday. That's right. You, that's very good. He has swimming lessons on Tuesday. On Tuesday. So, the three lower pictures we are going to use what time to give a specific or definite time. Number one, what time does he do karate? Yeah, I can hear lots of students giving correct answer because I think now we are able to express the time correctly. He does karate at... Huh? I can hear, yeah, and I can hear also various answers. 6.15 or quarter past 6. What time does he practice playing football? At... Yeah, quarter to ten. What time does he study English? At half past ten or ten thirty. That's right. That's very good. Let's now move down to activity 25. It's about, you know, um, phonics and these consonants blends. We have two consonants and sometimes we have also here we have three consonants bra cr dr fr gr pr str and tr here when we listen to this i just want you to focus and listen carefully yeah listen carefully Unit 7, Lesson 10, Activity 25, Page 81. 
Listen and write br, cr, dr, fr, gr, pr, str, or tr. Okay. Then listen and repeat. One, grandma. Grandma. Two, Two. crayons. Crayons. Three, strong. Strong. Four, breakfast. Breakfast. Five, fruit. Fruit. Six, practice. Practice. Seven, draw. Draw. Eight, trainers. Trainers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can hear all of you, mashallah, uh, uh, give correct answers. Here, gra for grandma. Gra for grains. Stra for strong. Bra for breakfast. Fra for fruit. Pra for practice. And dra for draw. And tra for trainers. Okay, it's time now to check your understanding. Check your listening skill. I'm gonna show you the answers for this. Yeah, just check. Yeah, that's learn to cook. That's correct, have swimming lessons. Practice basketball, that's right. Study math, that's right. Here we have, yeah, practice playing football. And here we have study English, that's right. Check. Yeah, this is grammar, crayons, strong, breakfast, fruit, practice, draw, and trainers. And that's all for pupil's book. It's time now to go to the other book, the activity book on page 77. Okay. This is for our activity book. We have four pictures and we have to ask four questions about them and find the answers um, to these questions. And of course, number one is done for you. When does she practice skipping? And the answer, she practices skipping on Friday, as you can see here. Picture number two. It's clear, I think. When did she learn to cook? So we have to write here, to learn to cook. And the answer, when she was, yeah, that's right, when she was seven. Number three, also, I think it's clear for you. Let's move this a little bit here. Number three is going to be like this. When does he do gymnastics? When does he do gymnastics? And the answer, he does gymnastics on, yeah, that's right, on Tuesday. And number four should be like this. When did she learn to draw? When did she learn to draw? And the answer, when she was five. Look, when she was five. I prepared an answer for you, not to waste time. Look. You can pause the video, take your time, and write the answers. Here are the answers. Learn to cook, seven. When does he do gymnastics? He does gymnastics on Tuesday. When did he learn to draw? When he was five. So, take your time and write. Let's now go to the next part. The next part is about adverbs of frequency. Always, usually, often, and never. And of course, when you see these four ticks, it's gonna be always. When you see these three ticks, it's gonna be, yeah, that's right. All of you, mashallah, giving, yeah, correct answers, usually. Here we have to write usually. When we see these 
two ticks, it's going to be, yeah, that's right, often, it's often. And here we have, here we have, never, never. And I'm going to now move to the next exercise. So here, my dear students, always, here, usually, right, usually here, and here, often, often. And the last one, of course, is never, never. It's one tick. So pause the video, write the answers, take your time. Now move down to the last one, the last exercise, 27. Here we can see four pictures, and here we can see four times. And we are going to follow the first example. What time does he study maths? What time does he study math? And the answer should be like this. He studies maths at 9 o'clock in the morning. So, we are going to follow the example. Number two should be like this. What time does he have karate lessons? And the answer, he has karate lessons at 11.15 or quarter past 11 in the morning. The next one should be like this. What time does he have volleyball lessons? This is not about football. This ball has nothing to do with football. This is about, yeah, that's right, volleyball. And the answer should be like this. He has volleyball lessons at 2.30 or half past 2 in the afternoon. The last picture should be like this. What time does he practice swimming lessons? If you look carefully, find someone swimming. And the answer should be like this. He has swimming lessons at 6.45, I mean quarter to 7 in the evening. Also, to help you, I prepared the answers. Here are the times and these are the pictures if you you know um, follow the uh, first example you can do it so easily even without looking at this and I think all of you can do it correctly and successfully um, at the end of the video I'd like to thank you for paying attention thank you for watching till we meet again um, thank you and goodbye regards Teacher Ashraf, thanks.